Hello everyone. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Welcome back to Amity Bloom. My name is Nazzy and today I'm going to be sharing the finished flip of my house shaped, house framed journal that I have been working on and filming some journal process videos on and I'm excited to finally be done with it and to share you guys the finished flip. Now this is my December 2018 journal. I finished my journal about one month ago. I wrapped this ribbon around it for the closure because it is, as you can see, it's a very chunky journal and I've added um, three dimensional embellishments so it adds to the bulk. Um, so it is a chunky journal but I adore it. Opening up to the first page, I did do it in um, numerical order, so the 1st of December, and then we end up with um, New Year's Eve, so I did go in numerical order. Um, however, it was not exactly like December daily because I did skip, I think, a couple of days in the end. But on the 1st of December, I started off the month tea staining papers. <laughs> so I was tea staining papers for my Winter Crystal collection. And I actually came over to my parents' house on the 1st of December and I was tea staining my papers in their home, in their kitchen. And it just brought me so much nostalgia because I do um, live on my own. I don't live with my parents anymore. But it reminded me of when I first started Amity Bloom and I was creating my journals and I would always tea stain my papers in their kitchen. I stained about 80 papers or so, and while I was staining my papers, my family was in the living room decorating the Christmas tree and watching the inauguration for the Mexican president, and I said, it didn't distract me enough from the laborsome task. It's a love-hate relationship with staining papers. So if any of you guys um, stain papers for your journals you know it's a laborsome task but it produces such lovely lovely papers and then on this tag I just wrote Feliz Navidad because I was with my family and I thought it was really cute to just include both of those in that little pocket I outlined with black pen just to coordinate with the black from the, my typewriter from the paper and from the number and you'll see throughout the journal I used my vintage Remington Rand typewriter for a lot of my journaling then the first is carried on to until this day. So the first was very busy and I just journaled on a vintage ledger and I glued it on the back side of the book paper. On this side, I used a little scrap piece of paper for the pocket and in the pocket I dedicated to the Christmas tree. The image on the back looks like pine needles on a tree so I thought this was fitting. And in the pocket, I have my journaling. I passed this through my typewriter. Um, as you can see, it's a lot of journaling. And so when I pass it through my typewriter, I can get everything that I want. And it looks nice and neat and really cool, I think. And what I was journaling about, since it is long, I'm going to place it there in case you want to read it. What I was journaling about is the tradition of decorating our Christmas tree, how special my mom made it. Ever since I was little, there was one Christmas when my father was working, he wasn't with us at Christmas Eve, and my mom decorated our mini Christmas tree. It was as tall as me and as wide as me. <laughs> and I just remember feeling so happy with my mom, and she really put it in my head that Christmas, like the decorations, the tree, the gifts, that isn't what makes Christmas. It's your family. And even if you can't be with your family, the members that you do have, you need to make something special. That's the beauty of the holiday season is that normally all of the family members can gather around and just spend time together. So decorating the Christmas tree is very, very special for me. And because of the Christmas tree, I had this little die cut that looked like an ornament from a scrapbooking line. And on the back, I just journaled about going ornament shopping for the first time with my partner, with Michael, and how we couldn't decide on getting blue or purple ornaments because I wanted to represent the colors of my parents. My mom would always choose blue, my dad would choose purple, and I would choose pink. And so our tree symbolized our family colors. So I wanted to continue that tradition. And then this little pine um, needle ephemera piece. I would have never used it for anything except for this. I thought it was perfect. And then on the back, I just journaled about how pine trees always remind me of my mom. She loves the scent of them and loves the look of them. And so I drew little pine trees. 
And one time we went to North Carolina and she fell in love with the pines during the Christmas time and during winter time. So pine trees always remind me of my mommy. Then later that day, I came back home and it was about four o'clock. I came back to my house to make pot roast for me and my partner. And I ended up burning the pan. The roast was burning and the fire alarm went off. And then luckily my partner knew how to take care of it. I was freaking out because I thought we were going to have a fire because of how much smoke there was in the kitchen. But um, even my Loki got really scared. He's just like me. He's a scaredy cat. So after that whole incident happened, um, my partner's friend came over and played um, a video game on the PlayStation and I took a nap and when I woke up from the nap I had like a 100 and something degree fever out of nowhere. It was a spontaneous fever and I felt horrible so I just took medicine and I ended up just falling asleep. So that was the end of the day. Beautiful start, horrible <laughs> ending. So. That's how I started the 1st of December. The 2nd of December was probably one of my most favorite days because of a snow globe. And this journal card was perfect for the story. So essentially the next day my partner went out and bought a snow globe for me. I've always wanted a snow globe, like a beautiful big snow globe. I've had little tiny ones like plastic ones when I was little. And he went out to the store and he surprised me and I said in almost 10 years that we've been together he never truly surprised me but he came home with a penguin snow globe that resembled me, Loki, and him that I actually cried because of the thought that he put into it and how special he made it. And this journaling card couldn't have been more perfect for it. And I just journaled on, on the back about how the snow globe symbolizes, you know, our little family that we're starting. And then this is actually half of an envelope cut down. So this is the other half of the envelope. You can kind of see. So the envelope was about that big. I just loved the look of and the color of the paper. I thought it looked really vintage. And I passed it through my typewriter. And then this just turned into a pocket. And I have more space to journal in if I want to later on. And so here is the picture of the penguin snow globe. So that's him, that's me, and that's our little Loki. And so I immediately told him we need to take a picture and show us symbolizing the snow globe. And so that's him, that's me, and that's our little Loki. And he was giving me kisses. He didn't even look at the camera, but that's okay. And it made me cry because if you know anything about penguins, they choose a mate for life. Just penguins symbolize, like, it's such a pure love. And it just really, really touched me so much. And especially because I felt horrible. He wanted to, you know, make me happy on the 2nd of December. And it just, I love this whole page and the meaning behind it. So that definitely made me feel a lot better. And then later that day, um, I did some knitting, which is why I have this little hat ephemera piece that I'd never used, but I thought it was perfect for this. And at the, on the back, I just journaled about the knitting pattern for the hat, the knit two, purl two, and then the garter stitch. So if you're a knitter, then you you know how to do a basic hat, but I do need to write it down. And then from some leftover wrapping paper, I made this cute little pouch, and then I just made a really quick tag to do some more journaling about how I've been enjoying um, watching knitting videos and knitting podcasts, and I just like to do it in my free time whenever I feel like it. I'm not a good knitter by any means, but... I like to do it to relax. On the 3rd of December, we just did some Christmas shopping. And because that day wasn't really um, that special, we didn't do that, that many things, I decided to write a quote that I adore. And it says, The woman who does not require validation from anyone is the most feared individual on the planet. And that quote is written by... Mohadisa Najomi. I hope I didn't butcher the name because it's a beautiful name and it's a beautiful quote as well. It's such an empowering quote and it's very special because my parents have taught me to be a very strong woman since I was little. <laughs> so I wanted to include a nice quote in this book. And then on the 4th of December, the reason why there's a little bird and on sitting on the tree kind of like he's looking at what's going on over here is because this day my brother actually 
um, got into an altercation with another boy and it had to do with racism, which is not a topic that I don't think anyone likes to talk about. But the reason that the bird is here and it has meaning to the story is because I did two tags. I did this one was my template and I just copied it so that it would fit nicely in this little text spot. But I wrote protective mama bird, the bird, it's the same. <laughs> That's my drawing of a bird, and I just journaled that my mother, um, that I learned a lot from my mother. She always would protect us like there's no tomorrow, and that her protection has no limits. And I said it's safe to say that I inherited the same trait because I was in carpool. Sometimes I pick up my brother from school. I was in carpool, and the same um, boys that were in the altercation with him were um, next to him and so I quickly took out my phone so I could film if anything happened and I was like filming with one hand and driving with the other um, slowly you know no accidents happened but my brother told me that I'm just like my mom I'm really overprotective and I always and it reminded me of this little bird just you know gazing over and making sure everything's okay so that's what I journaled about on this page and then the 5th of December, the 6th, as well as the 7th, was all about Winter Crystal. So my Winter Crystal journal collection. This was a little bit of the packaging that I saved. Some of the papers that I used, I collaged on the side. This is that it's beautiful Italian paper, and I used a scrap to just hold it down. And I just journaled about the magic of the Winter Crystal collection, and how it was one of my favorites. And I loved and absolutely was overwhelmed by the incredible support from everyone. And then on the 6th, I used this tag, lots of love to and from, for the ladies that purchased the four winter crystals. And um, I just journaled about that. And then I took a screenshot, or I saved the video that I put or a picture on my Instagram. I loved the colors and how everything just looks so beautiful together. That was a very special collection for me, and the color scheme was very special, so I wanted to, to keep that in memory, which is why on this page I used a little scrap piece from my fabric washi. This is one of our scallop squares. This is the same pack that's in our shop right now, and then in the pocket I have a little bit of packaging from the Winter Crystal collection and then a fabric swatch on this little square. And I just journaled about how I loved the beads, the sequins, the fabrics. Those were my favorite things from the Winter Crystal. And I think that's what made it really special and unique were the use of those three elements. And then on the 7th was shipping day. And I adore shipping day. I used to not like it, but now as I um, streamline my process and I make it more special and more um, personal, I really adore shipping day. So my mother was helping me with the shipping, and then I used a little bit of the papers from the collection. And then a little tag, I just journaled that I loved the beaded sequin. That, that was what made it look so magical when you first opened the page. And then I just have this little fabric button with the snowflake. So it couldn't be more perfect. And then the three-dimensional embellishments, like the buttons that you'll see throughout, I added them at the very end. Um, after I did all my journaling because this will definitely get in the way if I wanted to journal it would definitely be bumpy So that is a little tip on the 8th of December just journaling about my Loki Loki is my little puppy that everyone adores and in this little tuck I Placed a floating pocket that I made out of um, some scrap paper from some music paper and in the pocket, I have this journal where I just did some more journaling about how everyone loves him. <laughs> He's like a little baby. And I have some pictures. This one is of my brother cuddling with Loki, and he put the blanket over him. I just thought that was so cute. And Loki just thinks this is normal. <laughs> and then this one is of Loki and me. And this is when I edit my videos or I do any work at home. I have my computer on my lap. And he always, without a doubt, jumps on my lap and sits and covers the computer and sometimes puts his paws on the computer. And I'll put some pictures on the video where you can see it looks as if he's editing the, the video. And then on my white jelly roll pen, I just put, I love Loki. So just a page dedicated to the love that we have in my family for Loki. Um, I'm, I don't have any kids, of course, so I only have my Loki. And Loki's like my baby. And he is. He's a very high-maintenance dog. <laughs> so I'm getting practice for when I do become a mom. 
later, you know, down the road. So that's that page. Then on the 9th of December, this page kind of spreads out. You saw this. I think I shared um, some journaling process on all of these pages that are coming up. This day we ended up going to the movie theater to see the Fantastical Beast movie, the new one. And I'm not sure if you can see, but this little tiny paper clip looks like a little beast. <laughs> so I thought it was perfect. And then the wake up to a new world because J.K. Rowling's always makes just the best magical worlds. And I just journaled about how um, my partner and I are like the only ones who love Harry Potter and everything. Harry Potter and our family. So we love going to see the movies and we have Harry Potter marathons all the time. You can see the paper still kind of warped from the packaging, but I created it into a floating pocket. I journaled on the back how in middle school it was really special for me and my partner Michael to go to the movies. We've been dating since um, middle school, so for 10 years going on to 11, and I am 22, so you can do the math. But um, our only dates were going to the movies. Of course, we were little. So now that we're older and we're adults, <laughs> we go to the movies and we always joke around like, so do you want to order any alcoholic drinks? Like, you know, we shouldn't. Kind of joking around because we would joke about that when we were little. And we went to a movie theater where... Um, you can get served food and drinks and they bring it to you and then the seats recline like it's just the best way to see a movie honestly so I took my boots and I took my blanket I'm that person that takes a blanket to the movie theaters I do especially when it's freezing cold outside it was like 12 o'clock at night and we went to see the movie so I said nice and cozy with my boots and my blankie and this was such a fun day. Just like with the 1st of December, it brought lots of nostalgia to me when we were first dating a long time ago. So this page is the 10th of December, and I dedicated it to my handmade gifts that I bought for myself from other artists. And all I did new that you haven't seen is I just added this gift button to the tag so that it kind of serves as a stopper. And I journaled on the back of these little ephemera pieces. So I really um, loved this layout. I think it's so colorful and fun. Then on the 11th, I just did a scrapbook of the papers and the little pieces of fabric and ribbon from the um, fabric bundles, the Jolly and the Winter Crystal. And I journaled about that, about the packaging, and then I did this little fabric button and I just placed it on the corner. I just thought it went well. The 12th of December is when Michael's Mini Cooper broke down in the city, so I had to go and drive to rescue him. And then we ended up towing the um, car to our house. And I just did all of the journaling inside of here. And I just have it tied up with the little closure. And it ended up being a really fun day. Whenever something happens, an emergency happens, I start to worry and I start to like think, okay, this is what we need to do and then we need to do this. And my Michael is the exact opposite of me. So I just journaled that it ended up being a really fun day, even though it wasn't planned and I didn't worry as much. We both found a solution to the problem and it worked out perfectly. So I journaled about that there. And then this picture just makes Michael and I laugh so hard. This is me taking a picture of Michael's trunk. He has some tools and things back there. And these are tools that are very expensive. So me being the protective overthinker that just worries, I took a picture of the trunk just in case of like the things that are in his trunk, just in case as like insurance, like an insurance picture. <laughs> and Michael was just laughing, saying like, I just over worry about everything. Like just let things happen. If anyone does take anything, then like, you know, we learned our lesson. That's the type of person that he is. And then I'm the exact opposite. <laughs> On the 13th of December, it was a day of thrifting and of just going to the thrift stores locally around us and finding treasures. And this is a napkin that I did as like the background. And then I journaled on a scrap piece of paper that I passed through my Remington Rain typewriter. And I journaled about thrift stores and the infinite possibilities of the things you might find, how exciting it is for me because my mom made it look like a modern day treasure hunt. And I always get an adrenaline rush. My face gets really red like a tomato. And I said, some people skydive, race cars, do drugs, but not me. I go thrifting and I love it, especially with my mummy. And then on this page, I placed the receipt from my thrifting and then some of the tags. 
and I just have so much fun. I just love going thrift shopping. It's like treasure hunting for me. And I do get an adrenaline rush, especially when I find fabric or wallpaper, really beautiful things that I can use in my journals. The next day, the 14th, these three days, these two days were kind of my mom and me taking a break and celebrating um, our holiday launch and just taking it easy. So on the 14th, we went to get some pasta from my favorite Italian restaurant. She loves cannelloni genovese or Genovese. I don't know how you say it. So um, you guys pretty much saw how I decorated this page. But what I did is in this pocket, I just journaled on the back of my collage tag and on a vintage recipe card, I journaled about how the first time we went to this Italian restaurant and tried out the food was when I was in middle school. So it's become kind of like a tradition. And then I just decorated it with some of my fabric washi. I love adding fabric washi as like little decorative elements. I placed it there and then I placed it on this page. And then on the front, I used it as well. I just love, you know, using those little elements here and there in my journal. On the 15th of December, now this spread takes up about, yeah, three pages, three or four pages. Because the 15th is actually my brother's birthday. He turned 13 this year, so I wanted to dedicate a full spread to him. And the 15th is always special because it's my brother's birthday. So what I did is I used some ephemera to create a little text spot. And then I made a tag out of the gift bag paper that we gave him. I used a little fabric button that matches this journal card as like the stopper. And I passed this through my typewriter. And I just said that my little brother is the most special person I've ever met. He's mature when it's important, loving when we need it, and the kindest soul I know. He is simple yet complicated and never fails to make me happy when I see his smile. So I adore my little brother. And then that just tucks in there. And then right here is a little text spot made out of a scrap piece of music paper. And I said I can't believe my brother's turning 13. It was just like yesterday when I was like helping change his diapers. And then here I made a little text spot. So what I did is I um, used some double-sided tape here and here, and I just made a little text spot. And then this is also an envelope that I've cut in half, so this is the flap. I love doing that in journals. And then this is also an envelope that I've cut in half, so this is the flap. I love doing that in journals, especially if you're working with a smaller size. This um, turns out to be a really cool way to journal. And so I just have more journaling space on the back if I choose to. And I just did some um, journaling on some note paper, talking about my brother. And then this is a picture of my brother and little Loki. He loves Loki. And I think they're the same person. That's why they get along so well. <laughs> so that's them too, just cuddling. And then that just goes back in there. And then in this little pocket, I have some of his favorite chocolates that only come out during the Christmas time. Every time he loves um, picking up this candy one or the chocolate one, Christmas time comes around. On the back, I just said I'm excited to celebrate his birthday and I'm excited for what remains to the future. And I said, Te quiero mucho, hermanito, para siempre, which means I love you, little brother, forever. And then this is some fabric washi that I used for creating kind of like a frame, a decorative frame out of this die cut. And I wanted to incorporate more black into this, the page because his favorite color is black. <laughs> and he wears only black, like black Nike stuff and Adidas stuff. So I thought that was really cute. And so then on this page, I created a pocket where I used all of my little ephemera pieces to cover up this really just obnoxiously huge sticker that's shiny and glossy. I hate this sticker, <laughs> but my brother loves these stickers. So I said, you are supreme. So it's a way to document what he currently likes right now when he's 13. These stickers are like the bee's knees in his school. So I grabbed one of his stickers and then on this tag, I did some more journaling that the only color to represent my society is black. <laughs> And so I wanted to make it cute, so I journaled on this tag just to cover up that sticker. 
Then, this is kind of creepy, I hope he's not watching this, but I went to his room and in his backpack and I pulled out some scrap paper that he didn't need, like some note paper that he was going to throw away in the trash eventually. So I decided to save it and to include it in my journal because I love seeing his handwriting, the date, and just this is treasure for when he grows up and he's older. Like having his little note pieces that he's had since school, like... I love saving onto these things, so I put a little bit, and he has no idea that I went into his backpack to take this, so I think that's really funny. <laughs> so I have that note in there, the sticker of the Apple um, logo because he really loves Mac products, and for his birthday he got some AirPods, so I put that in there, and then this little tag, just his colors, and I call him my little panda, so this kind of suits with the colors but I have yet to journal on the back something. And in the pocket, I stapled and glued on this wrapping paper from AMC, and I said that my brother is the only person I know who would save 10 or more paper straw wrappers from the movie theater simply because it's from a fancy movie theater. <laughs> He's always done this since he was little. And I tell him, you collect ephemera, basically. You're collecting souvenirs. You should be a journaler. And I bought him a Midori. I bought him a journal, and he doesn't use it, but... He's already doing it. He's learning from a young age to collect those little special mementos. <laughs> Moving on to the 16th of December, um, I pretty much, I didn't really do anything special this day, but I wanted to dedicate it to something that is very, very important to me and that touches my heart and makes me so, so sad to even think about. But on the 16th, it was really, really cold where I lived in Georgia. And... Sometimes it went to below freezing, and it's not often, but when it does, um, on the news, they tell you to bring your pets in, to, you know, be careful. And there is a homeless man that lives near us, and he has a little puppy. And so I just said that usually during the holiday season, this is the time when, you know, it's filled with laughter, with love, being with your family members, um, having that warmth of love and of comfort, being in your home. But it's, sometimes it's not like that for other people. The circumstances are different. So maybe for you and me, the holiday season is a time of happiness, but for someone else, it's a time of suffering. And it's not fair, and it completely breaks my heart because it's not just him. There's so many people throughout the world that during the holiday season, they're suffering more than ever. And um, I'm sorry, it just makes me very emotional. But I just said that everyone deserves warmth, not just on the holidays, but every day. But when it's really cold, it just it's even it's even more heartbreaking to see people suffer. And I just put on this tag, like it's cute ephemera, but the the gist of it is something important. You know, there's not, a scrapbooking company isn't going to make like uh, ephemera, like conscious ephemera where they show heartache and suffering, you know, it won't sell. So I used the ephemera that I had, but to write important messages on it. And I said warm wishes and on the back it says to and from. And I said to everyone who doesn't have a warm bed to sleep in from me. It just breaks my heart because I can't do as much as I want. What we do is we um, have given him blankets and thermal clothing as well as like food, like dog food. That's all we can really do. You know, if it was up to me, I'd let him, you know, stay where we, we, where we sleep. Sometimes you can't trust people. But that's what I would love to do, you know, give him a home and supply them with that love and that warmth. But nowadays you can't really trust people like that. So we do, we do help the best way that we can. And then I just journaled on one of my fabric tags and on this, you know, card. But this day was very, very sad. And I just needed to get it off my chest and write it in. This is when my journaling takes a turn to just not, you know, decorative, cutesy little things. But a place where you jot down things that are important to you. Sometimes there's, they're hard to talk about, but you need to write them down. So um, that's what that page was dedicated for. And then <laughs> it doesn't even make me want to talk about the rest because that's just really important to have empathy towards people that um, need it. 
Moving on for the 17th of December, I decorated the page with napkin, kind of like as decorative paper. And then in this little journal card, I just put in the gifts that I um, was wishing for for Christmas. Um, a loom for weaving, an Arnie and Carlos book, um, some yarn, and some embossing folders and die cut um, pieces because I love combining business and pleasure. <laughs> Um, what I meant by that is half the time what's on my wish list is usually things that I can use for my business and that I love. My belief is if I don't love it, I'm not going to use it in my business. So it's kind of the best of both worlds because when I buy something, it's an investment for my business and for myself, for my creativity. So um, I journaled about that. On the 18th of December, I was journaling about my moments alone. <laughs> I work in a separate place than where I live, so when I get back home, I have about two hours where I'm just by myself. You know, my partner comes home um, a little bit later. So these are my moments of peace that are essential to me because I get to watch Netflix. I can play Overwatch, which is a video game. That's a little secret thing about me. I love playing video games, you guys. Ever since I was little, I loved it. Not violent, like scary video games that give you nightmares, but video games that are really colorful and have a story to them. So um, I love playing my games, watching my movies, and eating my Thai basil rolls that I make with peanut sauce. <laughs> I said it makes me very calm and happy, and um, it kind of centers me and refocuses myself at the end of the day. This is when um, I don't open my phone, I don't open my computer. It's just my time to be by myself and enjoy what I love. Moving on to the 19th of December, this was when Michael came home with this sticker. And it's a little sticker that says family, and it's mama bear, papa bear, and the little little baby bear that looks like a panda. And I love how mom's colors and dad's colors combine um, with the little panda. I just love this sticker, and I haven't, it still has its backing because I kind of want to use it as like ephemera. I don't want to glue it down as a sticker, but um, he came home with that sticker and I just journaled about how even though Loki's our baby, he's a little puppy, he's not like a human baby, he's practice for us when we do want to have a family and we want to have a child in the future. And we have a little slogan that we say, which is familia es todo, and in Spanish that means family's everything. And I just, it's corny, but it's cute and it's something that we both do. And just the fact that he brings home a sticker, um, you know, representing that really touches my heart. Just like what he did with the whole penguin snow globe thing. And this is a picture of Michael and Loki. And what do you know? He's on his belly. Michael's playing video games and Loki just hops on his belly. This is his favorite place to be. <laughs> so that's our little baby. And he is perfect practice for when we do decide to have a child. And then here I decorated with some fabric washi and a little... Um, fabric button on the bottom and then on this page I with some vintage ledger paper I journaled what I was talking about here on the 20th of December these two cute little snowman die cuts represent my sister and my brother and on this tag I just journaled about how the most wonderful time of the year is when I can be with my siblings and we can hang out like old times when they have their winter break, that's when I try to plan and take my break from my work in YouTube and Etsy. And I just said it's just like old times when we would just watch movies and just eat and have fun together. On the 21st of December, as well as like the 22nd, I was really just with my family. I didn't, I wasn't really doing anything spectacular. So I dedicated these pages to the handmade ornaments and gifts that we have every Christmas. We always make sure to go to antique stores, flea markets, and purchase handmade um, Christmas decorations. And this was just a napkin that I got from the thrift store. I thought it was fitting. And I was just journaling about Michael, about how I'm so happy with him and how when we first moved in, it was a little rocky because you're, you're changing how you used to live and how even through the bad times and the good times, we always end up better and becoming um, better friends each and every day. And because we started as friends in middle school and we're still friends now, um, it's just a really lovely, lovely feeling. And then on this page, it's actually, what day is it? Oh, I think, I, yeah, it's the 22nd. It's the 22nd of December, and I just tucked that in here. This is that envelope, the other half of the envelope that I was telling you about, and I just washi taped it in. 
and this day I went to get some um, pictures for my passport. I needed to renew my passport and I needed to get some updated pictures. So we went to get that done. And then in the pocket, I journaled about the weekend. So this was Friday, I believe. And the weekend is what I live for. <laughs> I said it's the time when I can just sit on the couch in my pajamas and enjoy watching movies, playing video games, and drinking my delicious fruit smoothies with avocado toast. I said it's a break sometimes. And I say that because half the time I am editing on the weekends, creating or working. So it's a break from that. However... I usually find myself so excited to create and return back to my studio. And I said, it's, it's a lovely break that makes me appreciate my job even more because I'm excited to get back to work. And half the time, like, I can't even wait to get back to work. Here's a picture of um, the TV when I was playing Overwatch, the video game, and then here's a Christmas tree. And I just loved the ambiance of it. I have my German Christmas wooden decor lit up and my candles. And I just, I love that feeling. It's such a comfy feeling. And it's not just during the holidays. That happens on every Friday night. I'm always having, you know, my me time when I can just relax. And then on the back, this was Saturday, I believe. And just talking about how um, Michael sometimes has to work on the weekends or on Saturday. And those days, instead of just being by myself, sometimes I want to go to my family and just hang out. And um, how we end up just talking for hours about important stuff. Ever since I was little, my dad and I would play a game like, hey, do you want to talk about important stuff? <laughs> We'd eat delicious food and just have a really great time. And I said I definitely love spending all day with my best friend, my mommy Linda, which is my mom. And then in here, just some more paper for extra journaling space. And then on this page, I just made a little text spot out of some um, ephemera and this really beautiful illustrated tag. And I added a fabric button um, just to go with the colors. And I just journaled about how I love spending the holidays with my family. That's what Christmas is really about. If the holiday season comes around and I'm not with my family, I think I turn into a Grinch. Really, truly. Um, and it sounds so bad, but they really are what makes Christmas time so special and so magical for me. On the 23rd of December, it was actually a really funny day. So Michael left Christmas shopping for his loved ones for the last minute. So here we are like 10 o'clock at night trying to find shops that are open to buy gifts for. Um, we wanted to buy some candles and so Walmart was the only place that was open to close to us. And then I just decorated with a scrap of my washi tape. So on this page, it's that same night, um, just journaling about going to the store and taking like an hour and a half just to choose, you know, two candles. Um, and this was a little gift tag from one of the gift bags that we got for them. And just journaling about um, getting gifts for his grandmother who was in town and his aunts. This was the 24th of December, so Christmas Eve. I loved the spread just because I thought it was really cute. So in this little pocket made out of some music paper, a scrap piece of paper, I put all of the things that are special to me on Christmas Eve. This is a die cut of a house, and I journaled that on Christmas Eve, my mom's house smells like pozole, and that's a very beautiful, red, rich, um, hominy, like corn stew. It's so good. If you guys have ever had pozole or authentic pozole, it's the best stew I've ever had in my life. And usually most um, Mexican households have this for Christmas Eve because of the red color. Um, symbolizes the red of holiday season and the poinsettias. So um, my family's house for the holiday smells like pozole and has that red poinsettias everywhere. And it's just you know, apple punch. It's just such a lovely, lovely ambiance. And then this little tree I fuzzy cut that the tree is lit up at night and is so colorful um, during Christmas Eve. A little tag that I got from a gift bag. Just thought it was cute. And then another tag where I did some journaling that the comfort of my parents' home and that I only wish that um, in my home, I have that same comfy ambiance feeling when I have kids, just like they did to me when I was little, just like the atmosphere that they created for me and my siblings. 
And then on this page, I didn't want to just journal completely because I was kind of getting bored of just journaling on the page. So what I decided to do is I had this little scrap piece of ephemera and this card. I thought it looked like a door, like a door frame. And this is kind of like Merry Christmas, you know, on Christmas Eve. And the 24 represented the number of like the house. And it opens up like the door. <laughs> My mom didn't get it. When I showed her, she's like, wait, what? And I showed her, she's like, oh, I understand now. So the little door opens up to the house and the journaling is on the inside. And I tried to pass it through my typewriter in the beginning, but then it smeared and it just didn't work. So I ended up just writing um, with everything else with pen. I really love this page and how it turned out. On the 25th of December, this is Christmas day. So this page, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. These pages are all Christmas Day. So Christmas Day, we did half day with my parents' house and half day with my um, partner's ha parents' house. So in the morning, I woke up at 7 o'clock a.m. to drive to my parents' house because Santa Claus visited them and my little sister. So I needed to be there to see that. And so I journaled about that on this little tag, and I was just so excited. I grabbed Loki, and we were driving to my parents' house. And then on this tag, I just journaled about all of the gifts that I got everyone. And this is the wrapping paper that um, my gifts were wrapped in. And this was the corner piece to a Christmas card where you can, like, tuck in photographs. So I recycled all of my holiday packaging, and I think that's what really makes this book special. And then on this page, I created a little floating pocket out of that napkin, you know, decorative paper that I made. And in the pocket, I had these two things. So journaling about Christmas time, how I'm still, you know, I'm 22 years old, but I still get really giddy and nervous and excited about Christmas. But this time, um, I'm excited to see their reaction when they get their gifts. And I said, even if I'm 80 years old, I'm always going to have this feeling in my tummy. And then this is some packaging from one of the gifts that my mom got me, a bunny jumpsuit. And my mom calls me her conejito, so a little bunny. She says I resemble a bunny. And I call my Loki, my dog, Honey Bunny. That's his nickname. And that bunny symbol is very important in our family. And I've always wanted a bunny jumpsuit. You guys, ever since I was little, I wanted a bunny jumpsuit. So I finally got one at 22 years old. <laughs> oh, gosh. And it's so cute. So I saved the packaging just because it's so funny to me, the whole story and how I had to wait until I was, you know, an adult to have a jumpsuit that looks like a bunny. <laughs> and so here I still need to put a picture on the back and do some journaling of our Christmas picture. I haven't printed that out yet. And then on this little piece of paper, I just did some more journaling on Christmas. So I'm just going to put that there and I'll put it back later. And then this is actually a vellum pocket that I have embossed. And I just put on some scrap piece of paper to Nessie from Mommy and Puppy. And I just wrote the letter that they wrote me with my gifts. Um, my parents are always, always trying to make um, their gifts really special. And um, they write the most wonderful letters. So I always treasure that. Because it's their handwriting. And one day this is going to be so valuable. It's really funny because whenever there's birthday parties or Christmas, whenever there's wrapping paper involved, everyone knows, you know, don't touch the wrapping paper. I'm going to take care of that because I need to document it and save it to put into my journals. So it's kind of like a joke that goes around in the family. And then on this page, some more journaling on an envelope that I cut in half. I just outlined it, put some scraps of paper. Coming back from my parents' house at like 2 o'clock, I came home and um, we got ready to go to Michael's parents' house for Christmas, like for Christmas dinner. I did some journaling on here, and then I have this little tag from my Jolly Bundle that I have yet to journal on the back. And then I have this postcard that I'm going to add some pictures on the back as well. So that's what goes into that pocket. And then on this side, I did um, a little belly band with some scrap paper. More journaling on this paper right here. And that just tucks in there. And then this one, I wanted to print out the pictures and give it that little honeycomb design. So I have yet to do that also. <laughs> some more journaling about the afternoon on Christmas Day. And then, oh no! 
this page, see, I have that little twine. It just wraps up, so it's supposed to be, um, you know, bundled up, but it's already opened. And um, essentially, this is just some scrap paper, some scrap music paper. You'll see that I love music paper, and I love using it as decorative elements in my journal. But I glued the little twine behind it so that, you know, it holds its place. And I can tie this up that this remains closed and then you just open it up and on here I have this um, die cut that I can journal on and some pictures of Christmas Day this is me my brother my sister and my cousin and these are my parents so this is my mama and that's my dad and then here in this little pocket I have a tag and I did some more journaling I thought that was so cute and just the colors go really well together. Then this page was about New Year's Eve. So we went to um, our friend's house for New Year's Eve. We were pretty much over it. We just wanted to be home already and go to sleep because we both had work the next day. And so then on the last page, I just collaged some scraps and some remnants from the fabric washi that I have. And in here is just a little image from a gift bag that I got for Christmas. And then I did some journaling on my typewriter on a scrap piece of paper. And on the note paper I say, um, goodbye to 2018 and welcome a new year that will be better. Um, hopefully be as good or better than this year. I learned so much about myself, my business, Michael and my family, and I value my life more each and every day. That I'm so grateful for my parents who have given me and taught me everything to truly be happy. So that was just, you know, my homage and my respects to 2018 and that it was a really good year for me and for my loved ones. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a long one, but, you know, flip throughs tend to be pretty long because there's a lot to go through. And it's basically your life, your life captured onto paper for a certain amount of time. Another flip through that I need to make is of my personal TN journal and that will be filmed and edited very very soon because that journal is also finished. So thank you so much you guys for spending your afternoon, your morning, your night with me. I hope that you guys have a or continue to have a wonderful day and if you're not try to do something today that brings you happiness no matter what. Sometimes we need to be selfish with our happiness because if we're not happy no one around us is going to be happy and that, you know, that attitude is contagious. So wishing you guys the best, so much love, and that your day is filled with peace and love. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.